Hey everyone, so this is Clarice, and today I'm going to show you how to do some really cool gymnastic stuff. Now, sorry about that, I can't do back handsprings today because I am upstairs, and I could ba make some really loud noise if uh, I do back handspring and back tucks. So, um, maybe I can show you outside on my trampoline, or maybe one day on a mat, but not right now, because uh, right now it's getting dark out, so I have to show you some basic walkovers and stuff right here upstairs. So, I'll start by telling you the basics that you have to learn. First, you need to be able to do a handstand. After that, you need to be able to do a bridge. You should probably try also to learn how to stand up from your bridge and fall into bridge. The walkovers will be way easier. Now, you're going to try to fall, go into handstand and fall into a bridge. Make sure you have someone to spot you in case you get hurt and you are able to fall in bridge. Handstand. Handstand, fall into bridge. So, now that you can do handstand, fall into bridge, stand up, it's a great way to start practicing your front walkover. Your front walkover is basically handstand and you fall into a bridge, but one leg at a time, and as soon as your two legs fall into the floor, you stand up. So, just in a second, I'll show you what a front walkover looks like. I'm so sorry, my camera is going to die, so I had to plug it in. So, a front walkover is something that gets learnt with a lot of practice. You really got to practice and practice to get it really good. So, that was a front walkover. Now, the best thing to try to do is when you land, don't try to keep your balance by looping around your arms. Because that is just something you'll get used to it, and it'll be bad for front walkovers. So try to always keep your arms by your ears so that you stay like that is forever as you do gymnastics. Now, we're going to work on TikTok. So first, try to do a handstand and land your bridge one leg only. And try to land with your strongest leg on the floor and your weakest leg still standing. Why? Because your strongest leg will be the one pushing off from the floor. So you want a strong leg to push off the floor. After that, just try to kick back with your strong leg. And it will be way um, easier if you use your strong leg. So this is my strong leg. So I'm going to use my strong leg to show you how to do a kick back. So, see how I landed with my strong leg? I was able to kick way better. This is what it would look with a weak leg. See, I didn't even get the chance to kick back. That's how hard it is. But a great way to practice is find a door somewhere. So, see, I have a door right here. And try to do your handstand starting with your bad way. So... This is usually how I do a handstand, but you do it with your wrong leg in front. So it's a good way to practice how to stay strong with both, both legs. Now that you can do front walkover and TikTok, it's time to learn a back walkover. Now this is a little trickier because it's um, a little scary to fall back without falling, um, and get hurt. So you really need, need to practice falling into bridge.
So make sure that when you start your back walkover, you keep your arms straight up and don't start like this because you could get hurt that way and fall on your head. So that wouldn't be good. So now you're going to put one leg in front just a little bit so that you know how to kick off. Put your leg, your hands up. And as soon as you hit your hands on the floor, kick automatically. And it goes way easier than falling in bridge and trying to kick over. So I hope you guys liked this video and that you can learn how to make some really cool walkovers, maybe back handsprings. So sooner or later, I will post a video on how to make um, back handsprings and back tucks, front flips, front handsprings on the trampoline. And you guys can learn that too. So I hope you guys like this video and that you can get some awesome cool stuff. If you have any comments, questions, or if uh, you want a recommendation of a video, just write them down here. And make sure to always have a spotter just in case you get um, hurt or something. And so they can make sure you do it properly. So I hope you guys liked it. Thanks.